up and welcome back to Interpreting the Scares! That's right, we're back at it on our month-long journey through the nightmares with yet another film to check off that bucket list of terror. And this is another film that I've neither heard about or seen before, but that's most likely because it's a foreign film and there's still a ton of those that I've passed on over the years, so I'm not surprised. This is also one of the few films, this event, that has been remade. But that's okay, remember the rule this month is standalone horror films that have never received a sequel. Not a remake, so that's still true for Martyrs. <laughs> Martyrs is ultimately a 2008 French horror film that juggles between the themes of revenge, torture porn, and psychological mind-melting craziness as it falls around two young women that have a dark history involving kidnapping, abuse, and violence, and their journey to exact revenge on those that did them harm all those years ago. Telling you absolutely anything more than that would immediately be a spoiler because there's honestly so much going on in this film that I'm kind of blown away. This is easily one of the better made horror films that I've seen all month. And a lot of people that have seen it will also tell you that despite how well it's made, it's also really, really hard to watch. And it is. This isn't just gory. You know, movies that are just gory are fine. They often don't worry about anything other than gore. So they don't worry about acting or story or character development or any of that. But Martyrs does. It isn't really until the second act at all where the gore comes into play. Before that though, there is still plenty of blood and from a strictly technical vantage point, how they did the blood in the film was insanely good. It's some of the best fake blood work I've ever seen. Right down to how the blood dries and leaves stains on the skin. And not only that, how it stays there even after you try to clean yourself. I don't know how else to describe it, but the blood looked real, guys. Also, the subject matter is tough because even though it's a movie with fictional premise, it still shows a lot of relentless, despicable, careless treatment of people. And because the film took its time introducing you to certain individuals, you actually care about them and you don't want to see them get hurt let alone violently tortured, and you can't say that for the people like in Saw, who are one, usually unlikable as a general rule because they're morally messed up, and two, they aren't ever really given the time to shine and let the audience fall in love with them. But that is what happens here, and it's really hard to watch. People were right when they said that, yet you can't really ignore the fact that the film is indeed made so, so well. The movie looks incredible. It's dark, it's gritty, it doesn't even attempt to water itself down for audiences. The acting's very, very good, especially for a horror film. And the premise, jumping from revenge to torture to psychological craziness, does such a freaking amazing job creating twists and turns, making this film nearly impossible to guess its next move. It was truly phenomenally directed, and what you end up with here is a remarkably original and memorable horror film, and I almost, almost want to check out the American remake that Anchor Bay made a few years later, but at the same time, I don't want to because I know it's trash. It's rated really horribly, etc, etc. If you're going to watch this story, it really is best to check out the original as hard as it is to sometimes watch. Let's go ahead and break down my final score for a second. For Martyrs, I rated this film an A- minus letter grade. Final score of 87%, 87 out of 100 possible stars. And I found it to be pretty equal in its technical achievements, as well as overall experience, as you can see from my individual unbiased and biased scores. But remember, even though my bias score was like a really good 90% and I could really see myself recommending it to others, I do kind of agree that it's the type of film that you might only end up watching once. If you're curious on other movies in the same genres, so horror, thrill, or mystery, that received 87% like Martyrs, there's only one, at least for me. And that's a little movie called Relic. It came out a couple years ago, and yeah, I can definitely see it. Another incredibly solid original horror film that if you haven't seen that, I also highly recommend it. Other than that, guys, that's all I got. Have you seen Murders? If so, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell to be notified when I come out with my next horror film review. And until then, peace out.